Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation review. I just picked up the Dior Backstage Foundation. So if you guys want to see my thoughts on this foundation, then just continue to keep watching. And my name is Krista. If you're new here, I do makeup and fashion related videos. So hit that subscribe button before you leave today. And let's get into this video. So like I said, I'm going to be reviewing the Dior Backstage stage foundation i got mine in the shade 2n and they actually have 40 different shades to this foundation and i picked mine up at sephora this is what the bottle looks like which i think is really nice travel friendly and then also you get a squeezy tube which i think is great because you're going to get all the product out of there so this foundation is supposed to be a medium buildable coverage um, also supposed to be a natural matte foundation and it's supposed to be sweat proof and waterproof resistant which is amazing and perfect for the summertime if you're looking for a good um, summer foundation if it does live up to what it says as always i'm going to apply one side with the beauty blender and then one side with the foundation brush and it does say that it's good to apply to your body as well i actually have like broken blood vessels and then some on my chest and then sometimes i also get some acne here so i'm going to be putting that to the test today too i'm going to apply some on my chest and see how it looks and how much it covers um, i did go ahead and apply a primer today i used the ysl touche clot primer which i actually got with my sephora points and then i applied this farsali unicorn essence skin enhancing antioxidant serum as well and i did put some moisturizer on too so i'm just going to go ahead and start applying this foundation just went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit and i'm going to start off with the beauty blender i'm going to apply the beauty blender to this side and i think this is going to be a really good shade match for me i don't think i said at the beginning of the video either but this foundation is 40 dollars, which i think is great for Dior because that's pretty much like Too Faced or Urban Decay prices still pricey but I think that's pretty reasonable for like Dior as being a high-end brand. I was on the fence about what shade to pick because there's so many options which is amazing but it's a little overwhelming too. So right now I'm putting some of that. I have some acne here so I'm gonna put some on there as well. It kind of has a little bit of a scent to it too, so if anybody's sensitive to scents, I don't know how you'll feel about this, but I like the scent of it. I think it smells good. It's nothing too like overpowering or overwhelming at all, so I think it's a pretty good shade match for me. So you can see up close here, it did cover up some of um, like my redness around my nose here, and then it also covered up some of my freckles. The pimple, it definitely minimized at least like the redness of it quite a bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and build this up though and see if it is buildable as well. It definitely is a lighter coverage, that is for sure. I don't really mind that though because I feel like once you get concealer on and everything like that, you know, it all turns out good. I don't really, I don't really care for a super heavy foundation. I'm just gonna build up a And I do like the color that I chose. I feel like it blends in really good with my skin. And I think it's a good undertone for me too. So that is what it looks like up close with the Beauty Blender. I think it is on like the matte side, um, but it definitely has more, I think it definitely does have like a natural look to it too though, because it does look a little like dewy in some areas. That might also be because I applied some of that for Solly. Um, serum beforehand but I like the finish of it it definitely looks good and then that's what it looks like where the pimples were which isn't too bad I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush which is this one right here it is by eco tools it's the wonder cover complexion brush and I'll kind of show you guys this is what the foundation looks like when you take it out of the bottle it's a little bit runny so that's kind of the consistency of it, very liquidy. So 
So I'm just gonna stipple that in. I don't see a huge difference right now between the side of the foundation brush and the beauty blender, but it does look kind of equivalent almost to the other side, which makes me think that I'm gonna get more coverage off the foundation brush side. So I'm gonna build that up a little bit more and then we'll see if it does look a little bit more full coverage with the brush. If you're looking for like a crazy matte foundation that's super matte, I feel like this is not the one, but I also haven't like set it and everything, but off the bat, like from trying other matte foundations, this definitely still has like a little bit of dewiness to it for sure. Got pretty matte as it dried down, so maybe it's just once it dries down. You have to wait for that. So far, I think I like the foundation brush side better though, just because it gives a little bit more coverage. If you're looking for something really light, then you could do the beauty blender, but I think it looks better with the foundation brush side. That's a little bit more of like an up close look. So you can see this side looks a little bit more matte now and like not as much coverage and this one definitely gives more coverage. So I wanna go ahead and try it on my neck. There we go. That way it's just kind of in on my chest here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some there. I'm just gonna use the brush because I so far like the brush a little bit better. We'll see once it all dries down though. I definitely feel like it minimized the look of it for sure. But it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a heavy foundation down there or anything. That's pretty good. I think that actually looks really nice. It doesn't look like I'm wearing like heavy makeup there or anything, but it did reduce some of the redness and everything like that. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and then I will be back to show you guys how my makeup looks on top of this foundation. Guys, so I just finished up my makeup. I think the foundation looks really nice with the makeup that I did on top of it. I used a heavier concealer, which I really like the combination of. I use the NARS Complete Concealer, if you guys have ever heard of that. It's pretty full coverage, um, but I think I'm gonna do about a six hour wear test with this foundation. So I will check back in in about six hours from now. The current time is two o'clock. So I will check in, I'll check in at about eight o'clock. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I am back for my six hour check-in. It's actually been a little over that now. It is 8.21 currently. The only thing so far that I saw about the foundation that I did not like is that it said it's supposed to be sweat proof and I did get oily right about here and here. It was a little bit humid out today though, so that could have something to do with that and that is an area that I typically get oily in. So I would definitely say it's not 100% sweat proof if you're looking for that. The claim where it said it was waterproof, I did not go in any water, but I will update you guys in the description bar below if I am ever like going to the beach. I typically don't wear foundation but maybe I'll test it out and then I'll leave it in the description bar down below when I go to the beach one day this summer. I really like this foundation for the fact that it is so skin like. It's really nice foundation I think for the summer months when it's going to be a little bit warmer out and everything so I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of it for the next couple months here. I love the fact that there's a good foundation shade range for this. I think that's great. It makes it easier for everybody to find their undertone and something that's going to match their skin and good. I really like the shade that I picked out. I think it looks really nice and once again if you guys I believe I said at the beginning but I got the shade 2 neutral 
So 2N, if you're a similar skin tone to me, definitely get this shade for yourself. And I feel like my makeup on top looks absolutely perfect. Nothing has changed. I literally did not touch the foundation at all. I did not apply any powder. The only thing that I did was just touch up my lips. So overall, I really do like this foundation. If you are a full coverage girl, you're not gonna like this foundation. If you like a good medium coverage, light to medium coverage, I would definitely recommend this foundation for you. Overall, I think it was a pretty good foundation and a pretty good price point for a higher end foundation. That completes this review. I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave today and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!